In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a before and after transition. Hi, I'm Stu and welcome back to another Lumafusion quick tip. Today, you're going to need two images. So what I've got is some food photography here. I'm going to drag the first image down onto our main timeline. I'm going to stretch it out to around about 10 seconds. How long is up to you, it doesn't really matter. And then from there, one second. There we go. We're then going to take our second clip and drag it on top. Again, stretch it out to around 10 seconds. That's 10 seconds exactly. Okay, so we've got two clips. Top clip is the before, the bottom clip is the after. So we're going to work on the before clip to actually apply the effect. So double tap on it. And then from there, what we're going to do is go to our cropping, come in around about two seconds on the clip. We don't want this to happen instantaneously. We want people to sort of absorb the fact that there's an image there, have a look at it, um, and then the effect gets applied. Tap on your crop keyframe. And then we would want to navigate to around about probably maybe six seconds. It's four seconds for the effect applied. And then that leaves a remaining four seconds is via the reveal. So at this point, you can choose which way you want to crop it. You can go left to right if you want, top to bottom, or right to left. Or bottom to top. Any of those is fine. So for example, I'll just choose the left to right. And you can choose to dial in the edge softness. So if we take it back a little bit, you can choose to blend between the edge if you want to. I'm going to leave it on a hard edge though, and then make sure that it's a full 100. And that's it. Come back out, back to the beginning, and play the clip through. And you'll see the effect being applied. If you wanted to, if we unlink and move up our clips, we could effectively go into our titles. I should have in here a before option, before, and then if we go to again, around about the six second mark, and then drop in an after clip. Then do before, so then disappear there, and after appears there, and then disappears again. There, so you can just have another look at it, or you can just take the after right to the end of the clip, and the before you can have vanish a few seconds before, so that it's more in time with the wipe across. So then the after appearing. And that's the clip. So it's up to you how you do it. You can have it with or without text, but it's a cool way of doing before and after. You can see the effect of the almond getting tidied up, the hair getting tidied up, the little air bubbles removed from the ice cream, and just a few of the reflections removed on the actual plate itself. This sweet dish was actually created by a chef that I've photographed a few times now called Jockey Petrie. Now Jockey was at the Fat Duck, I think call it, yeah, Fat Duck, which Heston Blumenthal's restaurant. And he then went to the Ledbury. And from there, he's now with the Gordon Ramsay Group. So this is kind of Michelin star quality pudding um, right there, as you can see. And it looked absolutely beautiful on the day and smelled amazing. The ice cream had a kind of Parma Violet lavender vibe to it um, and it was just stunning so there we go a simple before and after for you to check out using lumafusion and i'll catch you on the next video